welcome to another product launch. This is the new Egan Relay Hub. We've been designing this for quite some time. This versatile little product is compatible to 12 and 24 volt and it has got power distribution on board and switching on board. This is compatible with all positively switched switching systems like normal switches but also ARB link systems or remote controls works quite easily with it. This relay hub also acts as an add-on or daughter board for the already existing DC hub. In case you want to add switching to the DC hub, you can use the relay hub for it. It works as an extension board. It also allows you to really easily integrate portable power stations like this one into your vehicle wiring system. I show you all the details in this video. This is how the relay hub will arrive to you got a nice box for it, there's a mounting kit in here and of course the relay hub itself in bubble wrap so we can make sure it does not get damaged on the way to you. It also comes just like the DC hub with a stainless steel mounting bracket and the assembled product looks like this later on. To assemble the product all you need to do is to use these little stand off nuts that come in this pack and you screw these into the bracket itself. You take a screw, put it through the back, then you put the nut on and then later on when you've got all 14 in here you put the relay hub through and then you can use the other screws and screw the relay hub in from the top and that is mission accomplished for the assembly. This product will enable you to add a simple power distribution system to any mobile power station, battery box, whatever you might have got. If you want to integrate the wiring from your vehicle to a power station or battery box, all you have to do is run a main power supply from this ATM connector to an Anderson plug to plug into your battery box and then all the vehicle based wiring can be connected to this. This unit can also be used to wire up all your driving lights, spotties, roof lights, whatever you want to do. All you need to do is uh, run a power supply to your main battery. The good thing is you will put this unit inside your cab, so in a ute, most likely on the rear wall somewhere and you don't have any exposed relays under the bonnet anymore, just the main power supply to the back, all your switch outputs to this unit, you can still use a high beam trigger as well to the switch to this unit for your driving lights for example, wire all your roof lights to this unit have all the fuses in one spot, have all the relays in one spot and no messy wiring to the relays. It's all nice and neat in one box. And then from there you can even use it as a power distribution point from your start battery in case you want to hook up other parts to it. Another thing that you can do with this is connect this to your ARB Lynx system because the ARB Lynx outputs can only carry 500 milliamps which is enough to switch a relay. So you can use the four outputs of the link system, I think there's a fifth one that you can use as well, to then switch the relays on board here. And you can use this fuse on the bottom here as a power supply to your ARB link system. This has power out 3 amps max but you can easily put a 7.5 amp fuse in here and power your ARB link system. Another thing you can do with this is if you have an Egan DC hub installed and you want to add switching to it, you can use one of the high amp outputs, these ones here, run a power supply to this unit and then you can have all your secondary battery based switching done through this. And you can switch up to 25 amps through each of these relays so you can easily switch water heaters and all those likes. Let me show you how to hook this up. Let's say 
This light here is the fridge and this light here is the roof light that you want to hook up to your portable power station. The first thing that you do is you need a power supply from the power station to the relay hub. Let's connect this. So this would be the equivalent of a connection cable that you can put onto your power station and then to your vehicle based system. The cool thing about this is, in case you take the power station out or your battery box, whatever you might be using, you've usually got an Anderson plug that goes to the back of this from the start battery to charge it when the engine's running. So if you take the power station out, unplug it here, unplug it there, you can now use those two Anderson plugs, plug them together and everything that ran off your secondary battery now runs off your start battery and it still works even though your power station, battery box, whatever you use is not in the vehicle anymore. Okay, now that we have got power connected to it, the next thing is switches. Let's connect switches to it. You can use a five gang switch panel like these Klarman switch panels that we've got. You could use a remote control system with four outputs and trigger four of the relays through a remote control. Uh, you can also use the ARB Link system for that. Uh, you can pretty much any switch system that you can find on normal switches. All you need is a positive and a negative going to the switches and then a return cable. And it needs to be positive switching. That's uh, the only thing. So what we do is we're going to connect the white cable, which is positive, to the switch power supply, which is the bottom connector and then we connect ground. The only reason that is important is so that the background illumination works on the switch. And then the return cable on these switches is the green because that is the normally open contact and the red is so that the LED turns on. And I connect that to number one which is for circuit number one which is connected to load one, relay one and also to number one on the constant power outputs here. Cool, now we've got the switch set up. Next thing, let's connect a light to load one, because load one is connected to switch one. Connect that and we plug our light in here. And let's also connect a fridge. Remember, this is the fridge. <laughs> Bit unconventional fridge, but that's it will do for the purpose of what we want to do. So these outputs here, as soon as you would put a fuse into supply one and you apply power here, these will be live and fused through supply one. So load one and number one here are both fused through the supply one fuse. That is quite important for you to know. And you can decide if you just want to use one of the outputs, not for switching at all, and just have a constant load running off that fuse, or you can pick and choose your fuses in a way that they are good to run your constant load and whatever you switch at the same time. So we'll plug our fridge in here. Now, to make these switches work, I'll add a 3 amp fuse into the bottom here. This fuse holder at the bottom is responsible for power coming out of these two connectors here, which can then supply power to your whole switch bank. There's only seven cables needed. We've done it that way because you can now use seven core cable, like normal trailer cable to run to your switches somewhere because seven core cable is usually available everywhere where auto electrics are happening. So to add five switches in, all you need to do is run a seven core cable to where your switches are. One cable is positive, one cable is negative, and then you've got another five returns for the five switching circuits. Switchable load there, constant load here, 
So we now have to put a fuse into supply one. And I think before I turn the power to this on, I put a little bit of cardboard underneath it because this is a metal table. I think this will make for a good insulator. Okay, now turn it on and you can see our fridge has turned on straight away. It's now running off our battery box and if I now turn switch number one on, the light turns on. Oh no, I can't. I have to put a relay in first. So these, the relay hub takes normal, standard automotive relays. You can use change over or normally open relays. The center pin is not connected, so it doesn't matter when you put a change over relay in. And it turns on straight away. Reason for that is that on the board here, you have got backup switches. In case your external switching fails for whatever reason, you've got a manual override switch and you can turn the load on on the board itself. It automatically disconnects the circuit. So just in case there's something wrong here and you have to turn the load on, you just have to go to your relay hub, use the manual override switch and you can still turn the load on if you have to. If you flick it back to normal operation, then it will work with the external switch, as you can see here. And that way, you can wire in five switches very, very easily. And you see the halo illumination ring lights up as well. That's because we've connected ground here. Another thing that is quite handy is that you have got LEDs right behind the load outputs and they will turn on as well when the load turns on. So just in case you want to check that you've done everything right and you want to do fault finding on this board, you can see on the board itself if the output switch is on or not. Uh, you've also got blown fuse indicators here like you've already know from the DC hub itself. The cool thing about this is that you can now quite easily integrate your battery box. You can integrate any switching system. You can use this for, like I said, your spotties, your roof light bar. Because what you can do is, instead of running the input to the switch from the power supply here, you can just use a high beam trigger to the switch, put the output into the relay hub, just one main power supply from the battery, and it will switch your spotties on and off. And you don't end up with a mess of relays anywhere because we all know what five relays wired up look like in a car it usually gets quite messy quite quickly. So this will take care of all of that. For more information on this product, please visit our website perthpro.com.au or visit the Egan website egan.com.au. We'll soon be releasing more videos on Egan as well on how to connect this product to the DC hub, how to connect switches, how to connect your battery box, how to connect your ARB link system. There will be more in-depth, there'll be more detailed information on how to assemble the product and how to connect the product to all the different systems out there. Pretty much like you already know from the DC hub. Our aim is to make this wiring as easy as possible. If you've got any more questions, please feel free to contact us through our website form or to call the shop or you can also book a consultation online to actually come into the shop and talk to the experts in the shop. Thank you very much for watching and I hope I'll see you for the next video.